Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Mercus and today we're starting a brand new series of Hearts of Iron 4. So let's get started. So we recently did a campaign as Germany and now we're going to start a brand new campaign as Japan. And we're going to go and spice things up a little bit. Uh, I talked a lot about this in the Germany game as Victor Sian likely wanted to do. I think I sort of not have a general understanding of uh, all the things. So, I want to basically try to really play a very heavy navy, like navy focused game, where we essentially try to build a ginormous fleet. Now, that's of course doable in the base game, but I'm going to spice things up a little bit. We're going to go to custom game rules and strengthen Japan max. This gives us, for the most part, what I'm actually looking for is the dockyard output of plus 40%, which means our navy can essentially be 40% larger. It gives us a whole bunch of other stuff as well, which I'm not actually super... Like, they're not really super strong or anything. I mean, like, political power, experience gain, that doesn't really matter too much. Division attrition is nice. Supply consumption is pretty huge. Uh, it's not going to be too noticeable, I think, though. Recover rate, entrenchment speed. The production efficiency cap and growth are pretty significant. And of course, attack and defense on core territory. We're not going to be fighting on core territory. Uh, research speed is nice. Reinforce rate, planning speed. Fuel consumption is pretty major. And uh, that's, of course, something we have to take a look at. But of course, again, we are going to have a 40% larger fleet, so we will have a pretty ginormous fleet, so it might not necessarily be too bad. So, yeah. Everything else here will be just put to default. I'm also going to be playing on historical AI on. Now, I was debating between going regular versus elite for the simple reason that, you know, this will sort of balance things a little bit. Uh, more supply consumption, research speed, lower, and production efficiency, which just basically means that the strength is kind of nullified. But as it turns out, Japan has a unique mechanic that allows us to like strengthen dockyards even more on the expense of uh, military factors. So I'm actually gonna go civilian <laughs> instead. Gives us more production efficiency cap uh, it does decrease army and navy fuel consumption or fuel consumption even less. Is there air clear? Yeah. But uh, I think it's going to be fun, and that's kind of what matters. So um, we're going to be, of course, super powerful, but I'm going to try to do that in a sort of uh, challenging and fun way, regardless. But yeah. so that's going to be the plan. Uh, let's go and start. So for a start here, um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to start. I did actually test this, uh, well, I did actually just see the situation there once. Japan starts off kind of in a weak position. Uh, we have only 15 military factors, which is pretty crummy, 14 uh, naval dockyards and 21 civilian factors. We luckily do have pretty decent infrastructure, so it won't be taking too long to actually get that. And the beginning one is going to be active to just um, uh, do this. And I think there's one of them. Is there one more? I guess not. Oh, there's one, yeah. We'll go free. I did actually take a look at the guide here, but uh, yeah, we'll see. That's that. Um, research slot, we're just gonna do the standard stuff. So industry, construction, engineering. And for this one here, we are basically ahead of time when it comes to most naval or things. Importantly, of course, Marines. We're not going to really have to do any support companies regardless. Uh, we're not going to have armor initially. But artillery would be nice. 
Uh, we're actually lacking, in fact, the uh, 36 destroyers. That's probably the most important thing we need, actually. Oh, we actually have a lot of tear stuff. I don't think we need too many... Okay, let's get the destroyer hull. Oh. Okay. Uh, military factories. How many trains do we have? I think I would like to put one swimming factor in train. So we have one small, okay, so we have a fighter, we have a bomber, or yeah, we have a naval bomber. Need a bit more support equipment. We need more artillery too, that's a problem. I just need more of everything. Uh, let's get some... We also need trucks is the thing. Yeah. I just... Because uh, we also need a one of four carrier fighters, although we might have some. I guess we should check out what do we have. Okay, so uh, let's just go and go for here. The first thing I can research is going to be purge the Kotoha faction. Okay. Now, military factors. Um, one thing that's different from this play for than the last play for us Germany is that we have the by blood alone DLC which means we unlock the plane designer uh, I didn't get uh, no step back so we don't have tank designers just to not add too much complexity to it so like if you know that's really much too much it's really on the enable guns or the other guns I care about but yeah. The primary reason for that is because in peace conferences we're not actually able to take enemy nations' navies, uh, which is actually going to be quite nice for Japan. That's going to play a very he naval heavy game after all. So. Uh, now, if I'm not mistaken, from I have played Japan twice before. So you actually have the intro and small airfields. I'm going to change that to cast, I think. Because we're going to get the zero in not too long. Plus, uh, I think actually we are... So, in terms of planes, I think we're actually doing relatively fine. Uh, 340 fighters. Maybe not. I guess you don't have too much about. Uh, maybe I can only keep one on, maybe just one on, well, it's really, yeah. Let's actually get uh, some cast instead. Where would that be? Uh, interwar school. So, yeah, interwar close air support airframe. Uh, I guess we could probably, like, do some stuff here, but I don't know if we take care about that. Let's just, uh... Yeah. Take it up a little bit. And then... Still a little bit more support equipment, I think. Perhaps. Uh, how many carrier naval bombers do we have, actually? Something I should also figure out. Oh, we have a bunch of carrier casts. Right. Uh, that's nice, because... Well, it's really nice. I don't really care about them. Okay. This is fun. Naval-wise, I'm just going to do the usual thing, which is just... Uh, let's finish everything we have. And then we'll just figure out later what we actually need. 
I'm gonna go a pretty carrier he carrier heavy game as well. So that will be fun. So, because I love carriers. Instead, okay. Uh, maybe we'll tackle division as well. All oh, right, all of our divisions are okay. Yeah, right, okay. So we have six divisions. Uh, not exactly a huge amount, but I don't know. And when it comes to templates, we kind of have two different infantries. We have this infantry, which is kind of the, the quote good one. And then we have this other one, which is a sort of the quote weak one. And I'm going to turn this one into the garrison unit and this one into the uh, offensive unit for sure. So I guess we can maybe just do it immediately. So this will be our garrisons. This will be our sort of uh, offensive infantry, which I guess we could probably just put on the uh, Chinese border. 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 I suppose we want probably some on the Soviet Union border as well. Spinner. And the remaining ones, we have a bunch of cavalry. And we also got light. We actually have uh, two light tank, or three light tank divisions and two motorized. The only problem though is we don't really have neither trucks nor light tanks to actually support them, really. And they're also kind of terrible, so I'm actually wondering if I should... That's a lot of trucks, actually. For now, I'll keep them. Make sort of a... A bit of a fast-paced one. We have one Marine. Let's just put you in a... Uh, not the pitchfork will do the uh, trident. This will be our uh, marines feature. And then last one we have nine uh, cavalry. Let's put that in there, I guess. The cavalry has a faster movement speed than the train. Yeah, they do. Let's see with that. If we're gonna do some like Blitzkrieg stuff, we may actually just keep that there. Okay. Let's take out six of them. And then we'll have this army here be on the Soviets. Where's that border? And then this army will just basically be our defense of everywhere. Yeah, this is going to be, a, in fact, a fairly important uh, army. Okay, let's actually add... Let's train 10 of these divisions. These are the sort of the garrison ones. And I guess for now we'll train maybe a couple more marines. Actually, so... Right, the number of specialists, isn't that dependent on how many divisions you have in total? Let's try another two, actually. Fine. Yeah, okay, sure. Oops, that's all. Okay. Navy, uh, we're just gonna do a select all and get them to turn to port. Probably at Hiroshima. Sure. And Air Force. Are any of them actually like... No. I think the correct thing is just going to be to disband all of them. Now we'll just deal with like the carriage and stuff uh, later on. This is completely fine as long as you don't have any like uh, 
uh, experience, basically. Is that like it says, uh... In terms of planes we have, so we have, um, we have a little bit of cast actually. Draw cast. what's the difference between two? One of the naval people? Close air support, why are one of them naval target and the other one? Oh! Oh, are these like different designs and stuff? Like this is gonna be thing to actually figure out. Yeah, we have a bunch of casts. Uh, we have actually, well, 250 for cell fighters. And our strings are carriers actually. Uh, oh, not too bad. Air wings. Can I see that? Uh, I guess just uh, next has 60. Okay, so yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, for carriers, I'm not going to micromanage them too much. I'm just going to go 50% uh, fighters, 50% naval bombers. It's fine. No, oh. it's just not that they're actually hurting. Decisions. Not much we can do here. Come in there, civilian trains. Oh. I mean, we already have a pretty high stability. I'm actually wondering if that's something we should get. Yeah, this is the thing. Intersective rivalry. We're going to go and do prioritize like steel for ships. This will give us basic like uh, construction speed and output and stuff like that. And there's also the, I guess this is the only thing, right? Yeah, okay. It's just the, yeah, this thing will be intersection right and balanced. Uh, we want that to be very hard bit. Heavy ship max cost. Okay, so carrier max cost is 9,500. Uh, for carriers, I'm also just going to go and do maxed out uh, deck, deck space. And honestly speaking, I'm not, I'm not sure if I might be bothered with like anti-air and stuff. We'll probably have some uh, sonar, but okay. That's it to begin with. Yes. Okay. Um. Let's take the cavalry out and exercise. I guess right now it's just going to barely be a matter of um, start playing the game. So of course, among the first things we're going to do is going to be taking job. Uh, now resources. Uh, I don't like if oh I am importing oil. We're actually full of fuels, so there's no point in importing it. Maximum is 328. That is... Uh... Well, I guess I don't necessarily gain that much daily gain either, so it's not actually like insane, technically. Okay. Let's merge all of those, one super fleet. There's only the point having them be outside of like, okay, yeah, so you can actually upgrade carriers. That's a price now. Um, there's not really, right now I think a reason though. Let's just actually go and train them. Get some nail experience. That's something we need to get. I think it's something I'm gonna try to use the command power a bit better as well. I guess we can also uh, add a uh, Admiral too. Probably this guy. 
Let's go to spirit. All right. That construction we dealt with. Okay, so that's about it at this point. I guess it's just gonna be uh Let's just wait for stuff to happen, I suppose. Uh we probably want to produce dock or some uh, convoys. I'm just gonna actually have a token production of them. And I guess we just have to see like up this bit. Oh. This gives us, uh, right, just pain stability. So with that in mind, then we're gonna get a bit more stability. Let's actually go and uh, seize the commanders within trains. This stuff, arm experience. I'm actually wondering if I wanna do this stuff immediately. Or to see over ships. So factor output is minus five percent. Dockbird output is plus five percent. Construction speed is flipped. And we also get four dockyards. I mean that's like a pretty good thing. Let's take that. Okay, an important thing worth now is there's no, yeah, there's no prior to seal for guns now, so you you only get one of those. Okay, that just basically gave us a little bit more stuff here, so that means our carries will be fa uh, faster. Congo class heavy cruiser. No wait, is this a battleship? Yeah, it's a battleship actually. Name experience already. Uh, we'll probably okay. I'll probably produce a bit more carriers actually. I'm not really sure if this is gonna be. Yeah, yeah. Dark trains ready to go with the base strike, which was gonna be an important thing one. So. I'm kind of looking towards this actually. I'm just wondering if there's something better. The research speed theorist gives us which good stuff. Let's take this one. Seems pretty good. Okay, uh, we'll get some kind of computing. I guess we're gonna have a pretty high research speed with that. Uh, one important thing to note though is uh, we do of course have to do weaponry and stuff here, like uh, plane things. I guess it's like a nice that, oh, okay. It's like a nice that like, uh, it simplified this stuff a lot. I feel the time to research is higher though. That's probably fine. Okay. Officer course, we can actually do some doctrines. We could start working on this. I'm actually wondering if I have any. I think for now I'm going to save it up just to get some. Um... So actually we can do like some. Um... Italy abandons naval treaty. Second that. Oh. Um, so I guess we probably want, let's just Raider actually, Raider.
I'm not sure what this unlocks is the thing. Responses. Is there any, like uh, components? I don't think there's any components we want immediately though, I suppose. Actually, the depth charge one. So, I'm not entirely sure how to like structure Navis in this time. Something, something I'm just gonna have to figure out basically. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's make more infantry equipment because we're pretty short on that. Let's get. Uh, I think I'm gonna go concentrated this time. Okay, dockyard is the same. This is a more factor output, which isn't hugely important. Because we're not really expecting to get bombed, really. But those are also quite nice. Production efficiency base. Oh. Yeah, let's take this first. In here, I think we're going to take actually garrisons to be high priority. Okay, um... Uh, could start doing some stuff here. Oh! Yes. <laughs> well, we're coming. This is possible. I think I'm gonna need this one. Uh, well... Okay. Just to have it. This one's also important. I don't think we care about that. This bad. Construction with like excavation just yet. Let's get radio. Okay. Sonar. Probably smart bet. So basically what I'm gonna be doing for my naval stuff for the most part at least, is going to be... We want a lot of subs to do convoy rating and stuff, just basically mean that... Uh, well, foreign things will be protected against... Uh, what's going on? Protected against... Um, naval invasions, and then we want... Okay. Right, that changes fingers actually. So yeah, training stuff is actually stop the training of these things. At this point I would actually kind of say that it's probably wise to not do anything with the Spanish Civil War. But I actually think that we are in, you know, we need arm experience among others. Oh. Do you actually get a strong one this time? I think it is. So, I'm actually going to be sending it to National Spain. Uh, let's offer... Someone just assemble it. Okay, we can only have three. Send... Those three. And we'll get a, the best uh, leader we have. Yeah. I'm hoping for a strong nationalist Spain because one thing to note is that I think the German AI is kind of weak in a sense. More than speaking. We have to figure this out. Um. Probably just wanting another research slot. Yeah. I 
I guess this is already kind of in circle. Let's actually see if I can capture that town. Oh, it's Germany Center. Okay, Center of Panzers. Exactly will mean this little sort of frontier will be able, unable to. Nice. So uh, let's uh, fight this. Yeah, you're winning, so you can just drop this. Uh, let's uh, deal with this little here. Let's just start to mop up the like uh, small already uh, encircled divisions there. Let's actually tank the time a little bit down as well. Speed. And so, uh, let's put you on. Where are we going? Oh, actually, I can actually also send air volunteers, I think about it. Ah, okay, so you do start in your territory and then you send there. You're deploying now. There we go, okay. So we actually want to send another... Uh, uh, did I send Cass or? Yeah, Cass. Uh, let's send another 100 Cass. And then basically we'll send this fleet. Okay, uh, let's get this one. Nothing here is super important. Infantry, I guess we want that. Let's get some better troops. Uh, this can stay for now. We'll not throw about armor. Let's get better into artillery. Do we have artillery, by the way? We can do that. Okay, so now. Are you still here? You're just waiting, okay. That should be one. Okay. And now... Let's actually... Let's do the usual thing I do, which is try to take Barcelona. So I mean, just uh, basically take that. Should have also done my uh, German campaign. But... Okay, let's just keep the second October. So now we have those 100, and if I now do. That I can touch those again. Okay. Nice. Anyway, so that's it for this episode. So, hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave a like. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.